Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having a great day, morning, night, whenever you are watching this. But today is the 7th of December, 5.20 in the morning. Zendaya is awake of course, she had to check what the elves were doing. Zahida is still asleep. I've got a hot coffee out in the lounge room. But I hope you guys are doing really well. Today, Monday being, so we need to go to dancing this morning. I think this is her second last dance class of the year. Um, and then I have to re-enroll her. So I have to make sure I do that today as well. I'm really like patchy here. But yeah, the weekend was great. We got married. I don't have my ring. My ring's actually in the shop getting like its yearly service. I actually need to call up because they said it's about two weeks. And it's been longer than two weeks. And Mussy's getting his... Um, ring custom made so that will take just maybe get that just after Christmas so I'm a wifey I'm so excited and I have a husband and I love him so much but I'm gonna drink my coffee and try to get a morning workout in all right guys I'm just getting ready to leave to take a day out to dancing but I'm just trying to figure out like would it be best to, because it's the end of the year, so we need to re-enroll um, Daya into dancing and to, into swimming. So, baby's born in late March, early April. So, the first half of the year, I'm going to be, like, fully pregnant, extremely tired. I'm just trying to figure out if I should just hold off re-enrolling her until I have the baby get into a bit of a routine and then put her back in. Um... And then I feel really bad because she loves doing it, but at the same time, it's just, it's really just me being able to take her and I don't want to like go into labor at swimming lessons or something like that. So what would you guys do? Would you hold off on doing it? I actually might ask my Instagram to get some advice because I literally have no idea what's the best thing to do. But with um, dancing, it starts at 9.30 and then I just have to hang around for an hour. Parents can't go in or anything. You can't even see in and watch. Um, so I'm just going to run into Woolies to grab a few things. I need like dog food and all that type of stuff. I need to pack Daya's bag. She sure, won't need a jacket. Oh my god. Like I have this area with all the shoes and she does not keep it clean. She literally just throws yeah so I have like this little thing it's so messy at the moment um because she was just driving me insane with her shoes so we've got like walking shoes day shoes um just little bags a swimming bag backpacks um and then all her dancing shoes are in here so that's your dancing bag can you go put that at the front for me so even though if I put her in like in the second term, she's still got time to adapt again and um, do like next year's end of year concert. But like I've been following along with the end of year concert this year through the dance school and like I don't think I want to be a dance mom. <laughs> it looks a little bit too hard. <sighs> Out of breath already. All right. So I'm going to get the car ready. Can you put them on for me? Um get the car packed and then we're gonna head off it's not that far away anyway and then uh, yeah okay we are home from dancing and we're just having some lunch and so Zahida has gone down for a nap I just had these with some cheese and some tomato and then Zendaya had hers with jam how was dancing good you had lots of fun Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go check on Zahida because she was quite upset before. So the rest of the day we will be spending out at home. Um, it's quite warm today so I might like get the sprinkler out or something a little bit later. But yeah, that's really it for today. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up the camera a little bit later. Um, probably. I've tried to get a daily vlog, but if not, you know, two days, three days, you know. But yeah. So I just received a package. Um, I made these orders online a few months, a few weeks ago. No, 
last week and it was Christmas cards um, I've never done this before sent out Christmas cards but I got personalized ones done at Vista Print with the girls on them I've only got 10 because I'm only going to send them to a few people and I got one for us to keep but how cute is it and it just um, folds in half and it's got like a little message in that I'll personalize a little bit more but it's so cute and I brought some envelopes and I brought some stamps last time I went to the post office so I'm going to post these off tomorrow to go to the post office anyway because a package came and I missed it and then I got another package from Cotton On and it's um some pajamas for a day out there like Moana ones and I think I got Bill but I just started a sale on my business um $12 rompers so I'm going to put that up on Instagram and then the girls are awake. They're just playing in the playroom. I can hear them. Um, and yeah, Massey should be home at a good time today. He said he should be out of there by 1.30, meaning he'll get home about 2.30-ish. Uh, and I'm already freaking hungry. But yes, it's so cute. And just think next year we're going to have three girls on our Christmas card. I've got one for us to keep because they're just so cute good morning guys welcome to a new day i didn't pick up the camera after what you saw but i'm in my garage i'm about to do a quick quick workout i'm gonna do i think upper body today because this one i don't think it's gonna last very long are you but i thought i might show you my little setup it's a bit messy at the moment i've got my weights um this is where i work out and my chair thing and there's christmas presents all here but yeah my camera's flashing so i won't be able to film it put this on charge say see you soon bye bye so guys i did the quickest upper body workout it wasn't the greatest but i thought i might add in a little q a while i have my breakfast and get ready for the day um today's agenda is to clean my office because it's a mess. Tidy up this again. Um, we have to go to the post office and send off some Christmas cards. I don't know if I ever told this. Um, I have to go get wrapping paper or like present bags. But yeah, over the past few weeks, I've been asking on Instagram for some questions and I've just compiled them together. So I thought I might answer them in this vlog. Let me see. Oh, that's perfect. Um, so the first question is where are they what you brought the girls and Mussy for christmas as i need ideas well Mussy. whoa calm down Mussy got a smoker just give me a second guys guys i swear my, this baby is going for a growth spurt because all she wants is the bottles and food so oh my goodness um yeah so Marcy got a shit all right you gotta sit down for a second just so i can get the scoops in oh my god guys all right guys so i got Marcy a smoker while well, he picked out what he wanted um and he got that like i would say like two months ago already and he is like obsessed with like barbecuing and smoking i'll actually show you it just like a i'm already out of breath a cheapy one from bunnings but yeah that's his smoker and little barbecue we're going to set this up really nice um with an outdoor setting <laughs> that's our his little barbecue table and then that's the little block thing that you guys have seen but this one chewed it so we have to get a new one, which is just fabulous. Oh, I'm out of breath, but for the girls, I cannot mention it because um, Zendaya watches some of the vlogs on um, her iPad, like our old vlog. So I can't really say what I got them, um, but I might like just talk about it on my Instagram story so make sure you go follow me on Instagram I'm just having some exo crunch this is like my big morning craving lately is exo crunch I'm feeling quite heavy in the belly today um, well a lot lately like 
There's my little baby. I am currently 23 weeks. I cannot believe how quick this is going. Also, question. We're looking at getting a new fridge. What's a good, like I really want the double door fridge. Um, what's a good fridge? Because I am so ready to upgrade. We've had this fridge for about, when did Moss and I move in? This is the first fridge we got together. So we've been together for six years. So about five and a half years we've had this fridge and I just think it's time to upgrade. We've got a growing family um, and it gets full pretty quickly. And yeah, so we'll sit down and answer the next question. All right, awkward angle, but I'm just gonna sit down and eat quickly before I have to get ready. So the next question is, how did you and Marcy meet? I love hearing people's stories. Um, so we met, oh my God, my kids. Za, do not go near that Christmas tree. Um, let me just move you like back a bit more. So Marcy and I met, um, he actually, so it's a crazy, crazy story. So I was living with my friend at the time, like I moved out of home and I was single living my best life. And my roommate was like, he's gay and he went to school with him. And can you get that ball off her? Uh, uh, uh. Christmas ball? Yeah. Um, and he was like saying, oh my yeah, God, you know who, like I had a crush on. In um yeah in high school it was this guy like named Marcy and he showed me a photo of him and I was like uh yeah so I was like having fun being single and then like I met a guy and I really liked him um but I sort of was like reserved because I was going through a really bad breakup at the beginning of that year and Marcy added me on Facebook and I accepted. So it was just like fate. It was just so weird. And it was just after I said to myself, like, I'm, and then the guy that I was like having fun with, he literally like screwed me over. And I was like, I'm done with men. Like, no, I hate them. And then, yeah, Marcy added me on Facebook and we started talking through there. But I knew Marcy's best friend and his partner. Um, so I was like really comfortable with talking to him because I knew people who were really close with him and like really close. And who was I up to? And I told my friend because I was working at the time and she came in and I was like, oh, your friend added me on Facebook. We'll be talking. And she's like, I've been wanting this to happen for so long. And she went back to him and was like, talk to her because like you two belong together. Um, sorry, guys. You were wobbling there. And yeah we talked and then there was like a bit where he didn't like reply back because he was so busy with work um i was like oh and i didn't phase me because like we were literally just started talking and then i was like to my friend she came in another time to work and i was like oh he hasn't been like talking to me for the past week and she's like i'm on it and then he like literally inboxed me straight away because she must have had a go at him and then, yeah, they all organized to meet up. Um, they were there, the friends, and then Marcy was there, and then I was there, and I still remember it. We, I went to the Miley Cyrus concert the night before, and then um, we met up at like the pools of all places. And yeah, we've literally been together ever since. The next day he came over, um, we watched a movie and like hung out, and then we've literally been together ever since because like it was just so meant to be and I feel like everything fell into place so well with him um so we've been together for six years November 9th um yeah he's my absolute soulmate I love him so much the next question is do you and your beautiful family have any Christmas traditions um I never really had Christmas traditions growing up um I feel like once my nan passed away it's like the family separated. I feel like my nan was definitely the glue of the family. Um, some family went to Queensland and then, yeah, Christmases have never been the same. We have an extremely small family. Um, we don't have a big family, so there's literally, that's the heater. Um, what, one, two, three, four, four adults. And then the two kids, that's it for Christmas. So, 
Um, but for our little family, like the little Felice family, I'm a proper Felice now. Are you alright? Um, Marcy started tradition like having getting getting macas the night before on like Christmas Eve. Um, he cooks lunch. We wake up early, open presents, and yeah, that. But we do do the like the Christmas Eve box and the matching pajamas and all that type of stuff. And the next question is: Are you generally scared having two so close in age? Um, I think this is a topic I'll touch in my pregnancy update, the next one, but just a short answer. I am extremely, extremely, extremely scared to have two kids close in age. I, um, I experienced a really bad first, like, six to eight months with Zahida, with her colic. Um, she was vomiting, crying, screaming all day. If you followed me on Instagram, you would have seen it. Um, I documented it all. I wanted to be completely real with you guys and yeah, it was really really hard But yeah, I'll go more into that and how it's, I've really been feeling about it And then the next one because these questions are so old was um, from Bailey Do you have any gut feeling what sex the baby is? So we're having a third girl. I thought baby was a boy because I really wanted a boy and my pregnancy has been completely different and definitely at the start was completely different to the two girls um, I was craving more meats and chips and that type of stuff but now like the sweet tooth has kicked in um, but yeah those are the questions I'm going to answer for now because I don't want this to be too long if I get more questions I've just asked on Instagram I'll at insert it into the next video but i'm gonna wrap up this video now guys the vlogmas 12 days of christmas whatever you want to call it videos are going to be all over the place so thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button sorry i, love, I said day i can talk to you guys talk be careful two hands Make sure you go follow us um, on Instagram, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Say bye. Bye.